Hello, I'm Dr. Ramsey Amin. We're going to talk about cleaning around dental implants, especially the full arch replacement, all on four, all on ten, whatever the number of implants for full arch, full upper, full lower, or both, uh, zygomatic implants, wherever that you have a bridge of implants coming together. Now remember, implants are not teeth. They behave differently. They have different biology. Um, so first off, when cleaning them, it's a little bit different. So. The basics, just for a little bit of science, are teeth are really tightly sealed uh, right at the gum line. The fibers of the gum go actually into the tooth, like so. And around an implant, it just circles around kind of loosely a little bit. It doesn't have as tight of a seal. So things can get stuck down in there a little bit easier. So the design, first off, well, how do you clean around your all-on whatever, full arch dental implant, Pertow, zirconia, dental implant bridge? How do you clean around them? is a little bit differently. So most most full arch restorations have more contour at the base of it. They might have some, some pink gum at the very, very bottom of the gum line to replace missing gum or bone, uh, either purposeful, sometimes also to give you some, some facial aesthetics to puff out the lips a bit so things look more normal. But because of that, the implants may come out a little bit further than where the gum is, and that creates a little bit of a ridge or a flange that we call. So in that design, the most important thing is the design that all the surfaces are as convex as possible. Everything is rounded internally underneath as much as possible, uh, rather than concave where something could get stuck down at the very, very bottom. So the design is most important. How your teeth are made is really the most critical part of it. Uh, it's not always possible to keep everything convex. Oftentimes we're forced to use some concave areas to make you look good and to speak right. Uh, those are really discussions that you need to have with your dentist at the time of uh, restoring the implants and in fact way beforehand. The gums can be recontoured, lasered, flattened, uh, the pocket depths eliminated all before the actual bridges are made. That sets you up for success long term, not just a little short term success and then we see breakage and infections and peri-implantitis. But back to the topic of how to clean an implant, how to clean full arch implants. Well, toothbrush is still number one. This is my favorite brush. It's the uh, Oral-B toothbrush. This is what I brush with myself. Brush for three to five minutes with this tiny soft little head. That's what's gonna do most everything. That's your first step. Second step is, and make sure you brush all the way down at the gum line, under the pink part, right at the junction where the gum meets the tooth. Second step is gonna be a water pick. A water pick commercially available, $50, $60 is all you need to spend. All the rest of them have just kind of bells and whistles. Um, water pick at the gum line, again, at the junction where the implants meet the teeth is most important. Uh, spend some time doing that. It will be comfortable. The more you do it, the tighter the gums will be. Do it every single day. It's really, really important. Uh, at that gum line transition, we need to use some adjuncts for these types of all-on-four, Pertow, dental implant bridges, whatever you want to call them, uh, whether it's acrylic or zirconia. Zirconia is much, much better. This thing called a rubber tip. They used to, uh, those of you old enough, they used to put these in the back of a toothbrush. I'm trying to get this into focus for you here. They used to put these in the back of a toothbrush a long time ago. You're gonna trace around your gum line with these. This goes where toothbrush and floss do not go. Notice I haven't talked about floss yet. Flossing around dental implants is different than flossing around teeth because the fibers are a little bit looser, like I said, they around the gum is, is different. Don't be overzealous about it. Floss is great, floss threaders going underneath a bridge is okay. Uh, but don't be overzealous with flossing, especially if you've been diagnosed with peri-implantitis or have, a, uh, have an implant problem where you're losing bone. Some of the fibers of the floss can actually get stuck microscopically on the roughened surface of the implant and kind of get embedded into it, made the inflammation a little bit worse. So I definitely advocate flossing your natural teeth. Don't ever miss a day, 100% every single day for your natural teeth. On dental implants, just be a little bit more gentle with it. Do it every day, just don't go as deep um, a little bit a little bit more gentle. The design of your um, all-on-4 zirconia, all-on-10, I, I don't like the all-on-4 design. That's a, that's another topic. You can find many, many blogs on that topic. It's a little bit under-engineered, especially on the upper jaw, unless a zygomatic implant is being used. But for the, for so after brushing, water pick, some floss, floss threader, rubber tip, you're gonna use these interdental brushes, okay? 
these are what we use for going between the teeth. They go like this, in between and under. Under the insides, in between. You can actually bend them like so and get on the insides of your tongue to get into those spaces. But again, that's that's the that's the order of things to do. The the water pick is really important. Brushing is very important. The interdental, they call it a proxy brush, is important. Rubber tip is very important. Flossing, yes, on your natural teeth, extremely important. On dental implants, just be a little bit more gentle. Don't go as deep. That's for that's basic care. But remember, it's going to take you longer. Schedule some me time. Make it happen and see your dentist on a regular basis. Make sure you get some regular x-rays taken to watch the, the top of the bone levels over time and make sure the bite is adjusted well. That'll help pr uh, protect the bone over time. All right, thank you so much. Again, this is Dr. Ramsey Amin, Burbank, California, burbankdentalimplants.com backslash blog. You can leave your comments online there, questions. I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so much. I hope this helps you. Thanks, bye.